guys, Miss Raquel here of Fabulously Red TV and RosieMoto.com coming to you with another beauty tutorial. Today I'm paying homage to Miss None Other, Jenny from the Block, and her recent appearance at the Golden Globe Award Ceremony for 2015. She had glowy skin, dark eyes, nude lip, awesome gown, part down the center of golden locks, and I figured why not give it a try. So I hope you will stay tuned to see the step-by-step -step tutorial of how I achieved this gorgeous J-Lo smoky eye. So I'm going to start by using Groundwork, which is a brown muted paint pot by MAC. And I'm going to go in with a brown muted natural shadow to kind of carve out my crease. Next, I'm going to use Caregiver, which is a matte pink, baby pink shadow. And I'm going to use that to soften the brown that we've laid down before, right below the brow bone. I'm using Shimmer Shimmer, which is a kind of like a shimmery kind of shadow a little bit at a time with a fluffy brush to create the intensity under the brow. You want it to be seamless and you want to continue to blend, blend, blend. Using Natural Beauty, which is another brown, but a little bit deeper, I'm going to use it to continue to carve out my crease. So now I'm going to use the mix of these three shadows, Best Friend, Bombshell, and Fashionista to kind of begin to build the intensity of the smoky eye. Using a light plum color, I'm going to use that to lay down the foundation of the darker colors to come. I'm using a deeper purple now to start to build out the intensity of the smoky eye, starting with deepening my outer V's first, inner and outer V at the same time. And then I'll gradually go into using the black, which I'll put on the center of the lid, and I'll be blending, blending, blending the entire time to just make everything a bit cohesive. This is my preference. Whenever I'm doing intense looks, I like to use fluffy brushes and I like to build the color a little bit at a time. You know that you can't go backwards once you lay down on heavy shadow, so you know that in order for you to continue to go forward and have a seamless look, a little bit at a time will ensure that you have that great look that you're looking for and that the colors are well blended and that you're taking your time to achieve that look that you're going for. As you can see, I take my time, I'm putting in a little bit of the purple here and there, and then I start to build the intensity with the black, and then I'm just continuously build, blending, 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 and blending until my hand falls off, then I pick her back up, and then I'm blending some more. Notice that I stop every few two seconds to look in the mirror to make sure that, oh my gosh, my hands were so tired, to make sure that the eyes are symmetric. See, gotta make sure that they don't go above the other or one is not lower than the other. Then I'm gonna grab Raisin and Chocolate Berry by Coastal Scents to go ahead and start to add some dimension to the matte colors that I use. I do love mattes, but at times they can fall flat. So I like to use something with a little bit of shimmer and I like to build the intensity of the eye look that I'm doing. So as you can see here, I'm just building, adding a little bit of dimension and then I'm going back in and I'm just creating seamless transition with the blending. Using Perversion, which is of course my favorite liner, I'm going to tight line my upper line. Using a smudging brush, I'm just going to smudge the liner that I've laid down. So I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner, which is Perversion by Urban Decay, and I'm going to fill in my lower lash line. Then using some of the same matte black shadow from before, I'm using that to smudge my lower lash line. I'm then going to grab a smaller brush with some of the plum to kind of smoke it out even more. And then I'm going to use a bit of Shimmer Shimmer, as we did before, to kind of lighten my inner tear ducts just a little bit. Skin. So her skin was very, very glowy. If I'm looking now, I'm looking at my mirror. Her skin was very, very glowy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to warm up my skin a bit with this matte tan. Um, it's a micro smooth finishing powder from Sephora. So I'm just gonna dust that all over to kind of give me a warm feel, kind of warm me up before I start to contour, um, focus on highlighting and stuff like that. All right, so then I'm going to go in with my my Estee Lauder Pure Color Shimmering Sand looks like this. So I'm just going to concentrate that around my... Okay, so we're going to just go back into um, pretty much putting the bronzer all over. Cheeks. Putting that all over my cheeks. Trying to get that glowy look. Pinch Me by MAC especially because it doesn't look like she has on like an intense blush. So I'm just going to put a little on my cheeks. Just a little. And in tune, staying with the whole glowy feel, I'm gonna go ahead and put 
um, Max Warm Soul on top of it. It's a mineral eye skin finish. Looks like this. So I'm just gonna put that on top. Glowy, glowy, glowy. Just gonna add a little blunt blush to the hollows of my cheek. So I'm gonna use a fluffy brush like this. This plus. I'm gonna do soft and gentle, and then I'm going to. Now, for a moment, why I highlight forever because you know I live for a good highlight everywhere. Let's highlight everywhere. Nude Pink by my company, Rosimoto. It looks like this. If you follow me on Instagram, yeah, this is the color that I wear pretty much every day. Her lips are very muted, very natural, very neutral glossy glowy effect I'm gonna go all over top of it with naked this is called walk of shame it's a gloss like that and I'm just gonna put it on the top to kind of give me the same wet glowy feel yeah. and I'm gonna fix plus my face which I never do but I figure the fix plus will kind of make everything more glowy. Set it and forget it. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so let me take my hair down and then give you the final look. So this is my rendition of the JLo Golden Globes Smoky Eye Glowy Skin Pink Lip. Subscribe, take out our video. This is what you say, you need to subscribe.